Yeah. Tattoos. Tattoos? I want another tattoo. I do too. I was just saying that to Andrew last night. I want night. a lot. Like the only reason I don't have all of the tattoos I want is because they're expensive. Yeah. They cost hundreds of dollars to get tattoos. Let us know if you have any tattoos down below. <laughs> and then mark it in the comment section. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid rack sheets of Corbin. I have tattoos down below. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice. I meant... Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juice. What would be the closest right? tattoo you have to your nether regions? I don't... I mean, all my tattoos are on my arms. I don't. That's have, right. You don't have a leg tattoo, huh? I don't, uh, or a body tattoo? I mean, my wife has multiple. That would be closer. She, she has a leg tattoo. And, Doesn't you know, she have a side tattoo? Side tattoo. Yeah. But all my tattoo... Yeah, all my tattoos currently are, are on my arms right now. Yeah. I want a, a whole bunch more. I don't see, I don't have any on my back, and I probably never will get one on my back. I mean, the closest would be the back of my sh shoulder, just because I wanted to finish my sleeve. I just don't like the fact that I will never be able to Not see Not be able it. to see it. And the only people who will is when you have yeah. your shirt off. Yeah, and I'm like, I want to enjoy my tattoo. And I like other people seeing my tats. Yeah, but it's, it, if I get a tattoo, I want to be able to see it every yeah, single day. Yeah, I agree. I enjoy having my tattoos. Yeah. And so, like, to have to. I know, to. I'll probably never have a back tattoo. Yeah. At least back of the leg, you can obviously move and see it and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, no shade to anybody that has a back tattoo. Uh, today, we got a uh, food video. This is a, actually a uh, best ever food review show, and it's an interesting one. Deadly Indian pizza in New Delhi, uh, plus the craziest pizza around Asia. Awesome. Uh, anyways, I've seen some of the pizza in India. Uh, hot ass garbage. Uh, I have eaten a pizza in India. <laughs> Terrible. Hot ass garbage. Well, <laughs> I don't know about this one. Here's the thing <laughs> the pizza that I ate, what was, it's so interesting. It was like other things. We've talked about this. Mm -hmm. It's India fied. Yeah. Like you taste all of the kinds of seasonings that come in Indian food in the form of a pizza. It's just or, very, very strange. Or in movies, you see them make pizza and it looks like a microwaved pizza. Yes. It. And it looks so it's very, yeah. very strange. It's not. Pizza, pizza, like either Italy or New York, which are like, different pizzas. It's probably like what a lot of people have, like if they come from India and have Indian food here, it's probably it's shocking to you. Right. It's just, it looks nothing like but actual good pizza. In a city like New Delhi, though, I would imagine they've got probably legit stuff sometimes. Some people that have yeah, been yeah, to yeah. United States or come Italy there. Or, or United you States. You betcha. So let's see. Some people even say that New York and America has better pizza than Italy. They're very different pizzas. Yeah, very different pizzas. Yep. Um, very different pizzas. And that you'd be. You'd go to Italy and be a little bit I've had underwhelmed. Them. I've had them both. They're both delicious. You know what else is interesting of Italy? Alfredo is an American creation. Oh, yeah. And restaurants who have it in Italy have done it simply because they've been asked so many times they're sick of people asking. Yeah, just yeah. get the tourist money. Yep. Here we go. Check it out. This is, this, how, is this is how pizza is born. Pizza, a food so loved that countries all around the world try to recreate it in their own way. I'm here with my man Deepak, who's making... The wow. Weird, he didn't show us any pizza. For our pizza right now. Today I'm hopping all around Asia to find the best and most unique Asian pizza fusion. These pans are actually made it's to a great idea. auto parts, like nuts really? and bolts, so that's why it's called Detroit Pizza. We'll see if India Detroit. can make pizza on non bread. Tandoor oven is crazy hot inside. What happens when you mix Detroit style pizza with Korean ingredients? Detroit style pizza. pizza. Said good luck and then I've never away. heard of that, have you? And finally, V will join me for a pizza. A crossover I never expected here in Vietnam. I understand the idea of cucumber, I just don't like it myself. Whether you like it thick or thin, it's pizza time. I like it thick. Indian chefs oh, have a PhD when it comes to pizza, in spice, it's thin. employing contrasting flavors, heat, and a masterful blending of seasonings. That is ridiculous. I mean, just taste the skill. The number of spices, spices in here okay. that work so well together. Beautiful, vibrant spices, flavors, aromas. Right now, I'm headed to Duty Free Restaurant to take on their butter chicken that, pizza. That looks good. Oh, that, I don't know what that is. People together in the restaurant and create food which is comfort. Food including their drunken chicken tikka. Uh, <laughs> nice. Tender and it's all steaming. 
Jam on work. And loads of creative drinks. Oh, I feel like a college girl again. I mean, <laughs> but right now, I'm making a beeline for the kitchen to check out this pizza. We're not going to go with the typical Italian bread. We're going to go with a non-base for our butter chicken pizza. I like it. He's going to slap up that bread a little bit like it did something wrong to him. And then he's going to throw it in the tandoor here. So we're going to have kind of an ovular pizza today. Tandoor oven. It's crazy hot inside. Oh, he's got to get the other side a little bit. There it is. Bam. That is a nice pizza base right there. Step two. We put our chicken into the tandoor oven, making it tandoori chicken. But eventually, it'll be butter chicken. I'm here with my man, Deepak, who's making the base for our pizza right now. Perfect. Butter. With some butter. Call it butter chicken for a reason. That is a lot of butter. Next, dried Fenwick seeds, then the gravy, including tomato puree, garlic, and ginger. This is the oh. same base for any butter chicken, just like this. Then salt, sugar, cream. This is going to be really one of the most rich pizzas I've ever had. Then their tandoori chicken. Chicken we just took out of the tandoori oven. Lots of more butter. We started with butter. And Good. And circle Grief. of butter life. We're ending with a little bit more butter. That's about as authentic as you get for a butter chicken pizza. Finally, the assembly. The butter chicken base is slathered on our naan bread with chunks of tandoori chicken and cheese on top of that. Then even more freshly cut chicken. Some herbs, and it's ready to go. We're going to throw this in the oven, and we'll see you in the restaurant. here with the co-founder of Duty Free, Varun. Ooh, damn. Thank you so much. The butter chicken That's the best pizza. looking Indian pizza, pizza I've ever seen. From the base to the top, like everything here. I would eat that. India. It looks so interesting. Mixture all four different dishes put together to make one hell of a dish. And the butter part is no joke. So this is super rich. I would eat that. So oh, I would too. No question. <laughs> Should we jump into it? Cheers. Oh, yes. The cheese is all stretchy. Listen. I bet it's great. Oh, 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 oh. It's a whole bundle of cheese. First thing came out with all the flavors of Indian spices around. This is so incredible. I can hardly so this describe is basically, it. This is the, the chicken which was finished in, mm -hmm. in clay one. So that's how you get all the smoky flavors. It's smoky. The gravy is smooth, like heavy, fatty. Just the right amount of cheese. That now works perfectly as a base. It's and nice. It's so crisp. It's so thin. And crunchy, yeah, yeah. without without being uh, know, soggy or anything. I can, I can complement that with a sip of beer. Cheers. Yeah, that was the best looking Indian Seoul's pizza I've ever seen. International restaurant neighborhood. And today I'm meeting up with Keith, chef partner at Motor City Pizza, who have brought Detroit style pizza to the land of the morning call. What I don't know what Detroit, Detroit style pizza. You gotta bake it in a blue steel pan. It's got this rectangular shape. The cheese goes all the way to the edge, so you get a crust while it bakes. The sauce goes on last because you can't bake That's it. That's a deep dish pizza. Or, That's Chicago style. style. This pan right here is actually straight from Detroit. Yeah, this I think it's because of the steel. The type of pan. The steel. Like, really? bolts, so that's why it's called. Detroit style pizza. Okay. Enough, I'll be trying my first Detroit style pizza. <laughs> it's deep dish, but in a steel, but in a, but in a steel thing made from. Got it. Jackson Looks good. I mean, deep dish is not my favorite, but. Jack no, part deep is dish is its own thing. It's not a pizza. Like yeah. Good old American bacon. But it's, love bacon. it's more of a delicious. Uh, what do you expect from me? Right. Gotta have pepperoni and our Italian. I like them both. This is gonna go in the oven for equally. No. No. Once finished, the pizza is removed from the pan. Next, Keith cuts the pizza quite and tasty. garnishes it with ranch and marinara sauce. Why is the ranch green, bro? We make it in-house, and we use a lot of fresh herbs, not your Hidden Valley Ranch. Right, right away, it's like a little I've, heavy. I've made homemade ranch, it's not green. That was, wow, I think it's got layers. That was good. good amount of cheesiness. Don't we My problem with a lot of deep dish is way too much sauce. Really with what? On deep dish? Yeah. It's it's way way too much, and too much, too much, and too much bread. Yeah. Like, I don't, I want a balance of the bread and the other ingredients. I don't mind the bread. It's usually a lot of sauce, especially Chicago. Deep yeah. Dish. Today, Key is going off menu to create two Korea inspired pizzas. <laughs> One based off Jeyu and the other based off Jukubi, which are these little tiny octopuses. They're going <laughs> to put the baby octopus on no. the pizza. No! It's so tasty and chewy. No, a lot of Once people like octopus, man. Cheese and everything. Oh, I can't Never had an octopus? That's like. Jeyu is a I, Korean I can't eat an octopus. chili paste stir fry. The Jeyu pizza will start with caramelized onions, green bell pepper, roasted garlic, and plenty of delicious I just, pork with pepper. I know the level of their After intelligence cooking, and it's it's garnished with tomato That's sauce, a lot of animals, though. with Korean chili mm. paste, and a small sliced green onion Not salad. all of them, no. Not all of them, but with there's the a lot of octopuses is awesome. starting with the almost at the level of a human being as far as their intelligence quotient. A lot of people like the, the way they taste, too. It's very present. Let's try it out. 
Mm. I did it. Far off flavors of Korea all in one pizza. What is happening here? These guys have nailed it with the dough and cheese combination. And then they just piled on some flavors on top of that. Really, all the flavors of like a Korean barbecue. Smoky, salty. All that's missing is a bottle of soju. And then that is like the complete flavors of Korea in your mouth. The Jukumi pizza is getting a load of these adorable little octopuses. <laughs> with a Korean pesto, which includes local perilla leaves for a pop of herby freshness. He handed me this octopus pizza, said good luck, and then walked away. I don't know what that meant, but to me it looks good. <laughs> it looks like a delicious, cheesy octopus graveyard. They're burnt little crispy tentacles. It's gooey. Let's try a little octopus on a pizza, guys. Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. That pesto, very herby, strong aromatic flavors on there. A little perfumey almost. I like the octopus. I think that octopus actually works as a protein, but let me know what you guys think. Would you ever eat a pizza with little mini octopuses on it? Come on. No, I it's wouldn't eat a pizza that had puppies these two are on it. not on the menu. If you want it on the menu, you should comment below and tell them to put it on the menu. I applaud this extreme fusion innovation, connecting vastly different cooking styles on one pie. But I suggest starting out with the Jackson 5. Next time you head to Motor City Pizza in Seoul, South Korea. Next time I'm there, I'll let you know. Now back in Saigon, <laughs> Vietnam, V and I are making a run to that's a, pizza That's a place Via. I would this love to go is Vietnam. Oh, yeah. Running for just over a year. I've heard the it's like one of the most beautiful places in the world. Was South so Korea as well. Georgia. Yes. She took a Not North Korea right now, pizza obviously. Pizza <laughs> Return to Saigon. No one can go there shop. anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's a school. Yeah. When I grew up, I didn't even know that was an option. I thought I had to study liberal arts and garbage like that. V has adapted her menu to local taste buds with her Saigon heat pizza featuring pepperoni jalapenos red yeah. chili flakes, and capsicum while still providing classics like the four cheese with mozzarella goat cheese parmesan oh. and gorgonzola oh. with just a bit of honey to honey. oh at school, interesting tell you that there's some ingredients that should never go on a pizza my chef yeah because he italy they never put like having pineapple on their pizza. Her pizza instructor- Pineapple is the best topping on any pizza. Pie, but yeah, if you don't like pineapple on your pizza, pizza on keep it to yourself. They love it so much. And I that's my favorite topping. It's, it's magnificent. Pizza Fusion takes inspiration from the famous Ban Mi Hailway, stacked with juicy roasted pork belly. It starts with baguette bread, then pickled carrot and radish, plenty of roasted pork, cucumber, except in my case, scallions <laughs> and coriander, couple of hot chilies, and a special sauce that includes garlic, onion, fish sauce, soy sauce, and pork fat. Oh! There's some heavy meat, but of course, they're always gonna add some balance in Vietnam. They lighten up with a little bit of the cilantro. And having cilantro in a sandwich adds a really unique taste. It's something I'd never experienced until coming to Vietnam. I'd only had cilantro with Mexican food before. But, but try putting it in a sandwich sometime. It's real nice. So how does she turn this into a pizza? Let's find out. Check it out. This is it's how presto. it's a pizza fetus. This is how pizza is born. <laughs> Spread the dough out. How many pizzas have you made in your life? Fifty pizzas a day. So then you kind of just toss it around. I like the sound it makes. Yeah. Uh, it's like you ever worked a at a pizza place? On a carpet. No. To make it look easy. I've worked at Papa John's. Oh. And Chuck E. Cheese. So you. And the oh. Mozzarella cheese. The most important part. Pop. Not that those are the it's best pizza cold. places. That's I'm just saying I've worked at. <laughs> The next ingredient You've been to is pizza uh, press? Pickle, carrot, and bacon. Yeah, it's yeah there's the one side. by us. And we like it a lot. In fact, It'll that sounds really good for dinner, minutes. babe. Here it is. Welcome to the world. This is a cucumber and a coriander leaf. <laughs> I understand the idea of cucumber. I just don't like it myself. So you like coriander? <laughs> you yeah, not like cucumber. Coriander. You like yeah, I like cucumber. Yeah. Add it on the side. No, my favorite part of every bun meme is you don't know which But I don't know that I've ever had it on a pizza. Chili. That's it. Cucumber? That is an absolute Yeah, beauty. I don't know. Yeah. Bun meme pizza here at Pizza and Beer. V, thank you so much. That looks tasty. I would eat it. Yep. Did you see about the pizza? Right now, we're gonna get a classic slow motion cheese just peeling off of the pizza type shot. Rob, yeah. Wow. It looks like a TV commercial, huh? I'm gonna take the <laughs> cucumber off mine. We got a little bit of coriander, a little bit of a chili, a little bit of everything. Let's go for it. Mmm, pizza. Mmm, mmm. I love it. I got well, chili in there too. He it dislikes cucumber that much that he took it off the pizza. The because of the cucumber and then the pickle. It's just like the texture of the pork with the crispiness of the crust is kind it's of It's a good looking pizza. Blend. It brings me home to Vietnam to the feel of wrapping my mouth around a delicious bun. I beg your pardon? 
Even the daikon works for me. Very snappy, crispy. You know what? It's Vietnam on a pizza. V, thank you so much for joining me today. Strong handshake. And for you guys, <laughs> this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One yeah, trip those all look... I mean, I... I would don't like a lot of seafood anyway so and i wouldn't eat a octopus on a pizza but uh <laughs> all of them looked good <laughs> outside of that uh little thing on the pizza uh but there's a bunch of people my dad loves octopus yeah i know a bunch of people that love like uh, it's, it's a high end like yeah it's like a lot of people like um monkey brain no um no like What's a duck is considered, which I, I find hilarious that duck I is a, like a high end thing. I know. Even though it's like one of the most common. Th it's a very common thing. And I've also, <laughs> I've, 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 I've actually, I've had it once and it was actually pretty darn tasty. Oh no, it is. It's, it's like, like it's, dark it, meat turkey. Yeah, it's very, it's very tasty. It's just like, that's like considered like something high end. Which right. I often when I see octopus, <laughs> it's like that. But the Indian pizza would look very interesting if you could call it pizza because it's well, technically that, a non. I like I like the idea, like, instead of just someplace trying to make an American an American style pizza or an Italian style pizza, I love this kind of thing. It's what they did at California Pizza Kitchen when that first came out, was mm. these just designer pizzas. So you have the base and the topping so that it falls under a pizza category, but you, whatever, you Indiafy it, you Koreafy it, you Vietnam it, you, you know, yeah. I love that idea. Yeah, I do too. I would totally eat that pizza. And yeah. It looks quite good. It looks I, really good. It's, I just can't, <laughs> like I can't eat octopus. I, all the ones that I've seen in like, um, movies and stuff it literally looks like a micro a gross microwave pizza god bless you baby like remember that marathi was it was in a marathi movie that was about the little kids that really wanted the pizza right oh about the crow i think it was. yeah it was something about a crow good movie we enjoyed the movie yeah but like the pizza that they wanted looked disgusting right looked awful it was like a like a really bad pizza hut kids pizza yeah yeah and they like, whatever man you can eat like what you like but <laughs> <laughs> oh that's that's the kind of pizza we've seen most of the time in uh, right in india right and also they can get um mexican food at domino's i think pizza i think so which i find hilarious <laughs> well and to show you how unpopular pizza is we talked about this once before domino's opened in italy and it's gone now they closed because the italians were like why are you trying to put a Domino's pizza in Italy? <laughs> We're not going to eat that. Yeah. The yeah. only reason people eat it here is because it's cheap and it's fast and right. get it delivered. Exactly. Um, they actually, in terms of fast food pizza, oh, like it was probably 15 years ago now, they were doing terrible. They and yeah, they, they were. They basically made commercials and redid their entire menu. They said, "We know we sucked. We've changed everything." Exactly. Come back. <laughs> That's what Taco Bell did with their breakfast. Do you see the Pete Davidson commercials? Yeah. It's like, yeah, sorry, we screwed the pooch on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we. I only go to mostly local places. Twitter. Yeah, I much prefer that. Like, I don't um, like to go. Uh, when if we order pizza, it's from places near. There's a place Vincenzo's, yeah, Vincenzo's or Pizza Press, which is a chain, but it's family owned. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let us know what other food videos we can react to, and let us know if you have any good pizza in India. Let us know down below. Juice.